York City, a place of endless opportunities. Are you a redneck from the West? Don't hesitate. Come now. Fulfill your dreams. Become a citizen of America's biggest city. Major? Uh, maybe. What do you want him for? Unfortunately, your uncle Leopold Major passed away. I'm the executor of his last will. You've just become the sole heir to all his property. Your uncle left you an incredibly prosperous casino. A casino? A casino? The last casino in this country that doesn't belong to me. Old Leopold was pretty rough, boss. No, it's just that you were so stupid. Eh? A bunch of uh, incompetent idiots. Eh? Uh, but the tables have turned. That old boy is finally dead, so I can't see any reason for another failure. Clear. Clear. Why are you still here? Hurry to Seneca City. Presto, Madame Mia. This won't do. Who's there? This is Major. Johnny Major. Hello, Johnny. It's me, Terry. Hi. How come you're here? Your buddies and me. We organized a chase of the Mafia, but we were broken up by the police. They locked me up for disturbing the peace. We have to get out of here. Well, as far as I know, people always escape through the bathrooms. There's this tunnel into the sewers. The inmates are forbidden to speak with each other. Help me! What's this noise about? It's going to be quiet in here after lights out. Yuck. I'm not sleeping here with all this vermin. Just shut up! I said it clearly. It's gonna be quiet here. Why don't you tell me what I can do and what I can't? The prison rules are up on the notice board. I can't really go and read it now, can I? Duh! He probably left to write it down. Here you are! And stop bothering me! Yeah. 
It doesn't seem there's anything of interest. Rules for the staff. The prison guard mustn't beat the prisoner with a truncheon for more than a minute in one go. When trying to get a confession, metal objects such as pistols and plumbing pipes must not be used. It's forbidden to serve non-nutritious and rotten food to prisoners. The prisoners work all day long in the quarry, and they need plenty of nutritious food. Food! 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 Yuck! What hogwash! I can go hungry for a bit longer. Am I supposed to eat this? Well, that... that... I have to get the boss in, Sheriff! Well, Cook Henry Mashman, for serving bad food to the prisoners, You'll be locked up in a cell for one night. But, but I haven't done any! Shut up, I saw it myself. You'll get out in the morning, and I hope this won't happen again. Hey, Carrie, who's there with you? Well, the cook is here. Uh, are you having something, Johnny? Maybe he could cook something. Hey, he's got the key! Well, I sure would like to have that. Of course I've got the key! I have to take the prisoners their meals! And I don't plan on spending the night here! I'm going home! Gary, is the wall thinner on your side as well? Yeah, doesn't look too solid to me. Couldn't you just push a little bit and break through to me? Careful, move aside. Johnny, the last time a bunch of gangsters was chasing you, weren't they? Yeah, it's all confusing. A few shootouts, some stunts. And to conclude, the discovery of how corrupt the local police are. <laughs> that was always obvious. Sheriff Barnaby would lock up his own family without a second thought to earn some money. Damn, I actually can't recall when it went wrong. Everything was going just fine. Hmm. Mafia? Get out! This wasn't in my dream. Damn! Let's get out quick. Move it! He mustn't escape! Damn! Billy's already gone home. He won't help me. I have no time. I have to go. It's locked. Even though Billy's so forgetful, he sure always locks up the counting room properly. I have to find the key. Empty. There's nothing here. I won't dig around in the garbage. I'd rather be shot by the Mafia standing outside the door. Hey, Billy, you forgetful old fart. Hey, who's there? It's me, Johnny. Sorry, but I don't know you. Man, you really are fit for the madhouse, huh? I see. Sure, the Chinese laundry. Ah, poppycock, the casino, Billy. Hey, where did you put the key to the counting room's back door? Yeah, the key. Ciao, Johnny. You'll find it in the safe. And, and how do I open the safe? Come on, hurry up. I'm coming to get ya. It's simple. You know how sometimes I forget stuff, so that's why, you know, well, uh, what was it you asked? The safe! Yeah, yeah. Uh, the numerical combination is the day, month, and year of my birth. I won't forget that. So, when were you born? Um, well, darn, it's uh, on the tip of my tongue. Let me, uh, <laughs> it just won't come. Watch out! He's on the phone! Cut him off, someone! Come on, Billy! Yes, I remember.
remember now. I wrote it down somewhere so I wouldn't forget. You'll find it. Damn. It's dead. Okay. I have to search for it here quickly. Oh, Billy is gross. Yuck. Maybe I can find something here. Nothing. Hmm. Billy has circled the page number here. I'm taking this. That's really gross. Oh, a clean sheet of paper. What the smell of it? Ruler. Looks okay. I'll take it. I could scrape it out with this. See? There is something there. This could be a clue. Another number to remember. I can start a collection of these numbers. I hope they'll be of some use. One, two, seven, eight. It looks interesting. It should combine into something. 1925, this year's calendar. Just open it, or you'll look like a Billy marked China. something here. Thank you for purchasing a new safe from SafeMan. Instruction. Enter the numbers gradually by turning the pointer to the right and then to the left. Once you've entered the numerical combination, use the handle to open the safe. I should enter the code here. According to what Johnny said, you just need to set the day, the month, and the year consecutively. He must have written it down somewhere in the office. The key! That's what I've been looking for! I've got enough money on me. Well, that could be made of use. I mean, <laughs> gold nugget always helps. I'll take it. Damn, that was close. How am I doing? Door number one, occupied by Mafia. Door number two, ferocious Mafia. A window. The road to freedom, it, uh, except it's pretty high. Just open it or you'll look like a swainer. It's terribly high. Well, I can't get through this just like that. Bulletproof glass, bars, too bad. Look out, he's trying to escape through the window. Come on, ram that door open. <laughs> Go on. Damn, he might.
managed to escape through the window. With the bars. The bastard managed to put it back on. Dynamite! Dynamite! Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Whoa. Well, don't know my own strength. <laughs> Let's go, right now. Get him! evaporated in the thin air. He must be here somewhere. We have to search the place. And uh, what should I do with this? Uh, I, I don't want to hang around holding a stone. Oh, it's pretty high. I can't reach it, but if I could just remove a few of those bricks supporting the board, maybe I could climb up. I might be able to shoot down the scaffolding with this. A stone will be handy. It's always good to have another stone. A stone will be handy. Bus, I can't find it. It's just disappeared. It's always good to have another stone. I've got the ammo. I just need to hit the target now. Out of ammo. I must get more and aim better. A stone will be handy.
I've got the ammo. I just need to hit the target now. I'm small, but smart. Dad, I got a glimpse of him. Follow him! An informal excursion to the prison could only benefit him, huh? <laughs> That's uh, what I uh, think. Oh, I almost uh, forgot. Uh, did you uh, get my uh, financial contribution towards improving your uh, house of correction? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. You're very, you're very generous, Don Macaroni. Well, I just hope you take uh, proper care of this. Uh, Poor man. I don't uh, think he'll uh, disturb uh, the peaceful atmosphere of a little town ever again. <laughs> what do you think? I don't believe that! A stupid post! <sighs> Just a bit and I could have been safe. I'll have my revenge on Barnaby and those lousy gangsters for that. Did you say you can escape to the bathrooms? <laughs> sure, that's classic. But if I was you, I'd hurry up. <laughs> 